So guys, if you're in the market for a GPU and your PC is ready for that important upgrade, well, finding a GPU that's affordable and even available is a difficult challenge. So on today's episode, we're gonna explore an affordable GPU that just might solve your GPU problem. And you'll find out on the Ultimate Tech Hub. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So guys, are you in the market for a GPU? Have you been looking and you can't find one? Or you found one and it's too expensive? Well today, we're gonna to take a look at an affordable GPU. This is the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. And we're gonna answer an important question. Is this GPU good enough for gaming in 2021? Well, you're gonna find out next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. All right guys, our goal today is to benchmark the 1660 Ti in gameplay. So first, let me show you the Nvidia settings that you'll need to change to get the best FPS. So right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. We'll make all of our changes in this control panel. So first thing, make sure the resolution matches your monitor's resolution. Now go to the bottom and make sure you're using the NVIDIA color settings. And there's four settings right here. And go ahead and use the same settings that I use. Next, go to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview, and you want to select the Use Advanced 3D Image Settings. And now click on to Manage 3D Settings, and simply copy all of my settings into your control panel. So you want Image Sharpening off, and you want all these settings off. Your CUDA GPUs, you want all. Now this setting is very important. You want Low Latency set to Ultra and max frame rate is gonna be off. Make sure the OpenGL rendering GPU is set to your GPU card. And you have to set your power management mode to prefer maximum performance. And you want your texture filtering quality to be high performance. And make sure vertical sync is turned off. And then at the bottom right, make sure to hit apply. And the last configuration is configure surround. Make sure in the processor field, your GPU is selected. And once again, hit apply. And that's it, we're ready to play some games. And also remember, each game has their own settings you can change to help improve the quality even more. So guys, we installed the 1660 Ti way back in March of 2019. And while we did upload a video for the installation of this card, we never got around to doing a full review of the 1660 <laughs> Ti. However, we did a comparison video comparing the 1660 Ti versus the 1050 Ti. And there'll be a link right here if you wanna watch it. So today, we're gonna to run the benchmarks. We're gonna test for stability and temperatures, as well as FPS. And we're gonna keep an eye on our core clock, as well as our memory clock for our GPU. And we're gonna benchmark the 1660 Ti in gameplay. And we'll play Fallout 4 and Minecraft and maybe even Mortal Kombat 11, if we have time. So before we start, let me tell you what hardware I have in my PC. Our motherboard is a Sabertooth X79 with the Intel i7-3930 at 3.2 gigahertz. And we have 32 gigabytes of RAM. And our CPU is water-cooled. And we have a two terabyte Samsung SSD running Windows 10 Pro. So now we're on to the benchmarks. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. All right guys, the first thing I'm gonna run is Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0. What this does is put your PC under maximum load and measures the real-time performance. And then we'll run MSI Afterburner. This software provides real-time information of your PC's performance while you're gaming. And this is very important, especially when you're overclocking. So now here's my score with Heaven Benchmark 4.0. And for good measure and an accurate number, you want to run the software for about an hour. So you can see I've got an FPS of 167.4, and my score is a 4,218. And that's actually a pretty good score. And our temperature is maxed out at 72 degrees Celsius. But we did average around 65. And you can see we're running this in 1920 by 1080 full screen. And just a heads up, you're not going to get 4K on a 1660 Ti. However, with this FPS and our total score, we should definitely see some good results during gameplay. 
So let's go ahead and start with Fallout 4, one of my favorite games. And while I play the game, we're going to keep an eye on those numbers on the top left. First, starting with the GPU, our temperature and usage. And then next to that is memory usage and core clock. And then we have memory clock and power percent, as well as power. We also have fan speed as well. And we're also going to watch our RAM usage, and of course our FPS, as well as the average FPS. And these numbers will help us determine whether this GPU is performing well or not. So the first thing I'm noticing is our FPS. We're getting some high numbers here. Everything's running silky smooth. And our temps are running pretty low too. And I'm seeing about 114 frames per second. And even up to 123 or 126. Very good. And for some reason you're not getting these FPS numbers. You'll need to change the display settings at the beginning of Fallout 4. Here's the settings that you should have. And guys, don't forget, you have to change the NVIDIA settings in the control panel. Otherwise, your FPS will be around 50 or 60. And trust me, I tried it without the settings. And it was pretty bad. So the 1660 Ti handles Fallout 4 perfectly. But what about Minecraft? Let's give it a shot. So you can already see our FPS is really good. We're getting some really good numbers here. And just like Fallout 4, there are some display settings you can change to improve the FPS. The GPU is staying cool, and our FPS stays in triple digits, which is fantastic. So guys, the 1660 Ti can handle Minecraft with no problems. And I could probably improve the FPS a little bit more if I change some video settings in Minecraft, but right now it looks great. And after playing Fallout 4 and Minecraft, you really can't go wrong with the 1660 Ti. Just make sure to change the NVIDIA display settings. In MSI Afterburner, you can overclock your core and memory. And this will improve performance. It's dangerous to let but be aware you're not going to get 4K gaming if they die, or any ray tracing capabilities. And the 1660 Ti may struggle with some titles like Skyrim, in Rainbow Six and Battlefield 4. These games are playable with this GPU, but just a heads up, the video will not be silky smooth, and you may have some video issues. But with a mid-range GPU, you're not going to get perfection. So now let's go ahead and talk about a few specs of the 1660 Ti. First off, this card is overclockable, and is boostable to 1770 megahertz. And you're getting 1536 CUDA cores, it also has the Turing architecture, which is great. And you're getting 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. You're also getting 3 graphics processing clusters, as well as 12 texture processing clusters. And the base clock is 1500 MHz. And like I said before, it's boostable to 1770 MHz. And unfortunately, there's no Tensor cores or RT cores. And this GPU has a larger rebalanced cache structure, as well as a variable rate shader rendering. And it also has dedicated FP16 cores. So what is our final conclusion of the 1660 Ti? We found this to be a solid gaming GPU. It's not great for productivity. For instance, we use DaVinci Resolve to render all our videos for YouTube, and this GPU struggles. It does work, but it's slow, and sometimes crashes. But once again, for gaming, we give it a thumbs up and highly recommend it. And since GPUs are expensive and hard to find, this GPU should be affordable and easier to find for sure. You'll still pay around $500, and the reason why is because of the shortage of GPUs. And hopefully, this will change soon. I know that we're tired of high prices and the lack of availability of these GPUs. And I'm sure you're probably tired of it too. Let's hope things change in 2022. Well guys, we're all done here. And as usual, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page. Where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.